Be Rad podcast is brought to you by MoFo, male optimization formula with organs to boost testosterone. Brad's macadamia masterpiece, mind-blowing nut butter blend now available on Amazon. Bala Enzyme, electrolyte and triple enzyme recovery drink mix. Paleo Valley, nutrient-rich ancestral-inspired health products. By Optimizers, performance supplements like magnesium, probiotics, and more. And B-Rad Whey Protein Super Fuel, coming soon. Stay tuned for details. And please visit bradkearns.com to check out my personal selection of favorite products for health, fitness, and peak performance with great discounts for listeners. And here we go with the show. I'm very sensitive to the point. Like then and any of those meds made me sick to my stomach that I cannot, I'd rather have pain over, you know, feeling that way. Getting all this food, you blend it, you spend the time. Okay, it's natural, but at the same time, you're putting a lot of sugar by taking all this food in your body. They put me so much to sleep that I could hear, but I couldn't talk. Hey listeners, I discovered an awesome new electrolyte and triple enzyme powdered drink that's going to knock your socks off. It's called Bala Enzyme, and it comes in a convenient little pouch of bright orange powder that you pour into water for the ultimate electrolyte and antioxidant drink. It's simple, convenient, and yes, the orange tint comes from a potent serving of turmeric along with a clean and diverse assortment of enzymes and electrolytes and a perfect taste that's not fake or too sweet. Bala was created by husband and wife doctors to help their patients recover from inflammation, improve hydration, speed up recovery, even relieve joint pain, improve digestion, and boost immunity. I love their incredible devotion to product quality. There's a lot of research behind it, and I just sprinkle this packet into ice water, and it's so easy to stay hydrated because you absolutely enjoy the taste of the drink. Get their convenient little packets. They even designed it with the uh, the tear half torn so it's easy to open into the water. I love what they think of. And it comes in three exciting flavors, pineapple, lime, and berry. It's so potent, it might stain your fingers if you get it on your fingers. And yes, that's a good thing for a serving of turmeric that's that potent. It's also sugar-free, zero carb, and promoting of the three R's, rehydrate relieve and revive please visit balaenzyme.com b-a-l-a-e-n-z-y-m-e and of course there's a special deal for b-rad podcast listeners 30 percent off your first order just use the code b-r-a-d-30 at balaenzyme.com welcome if you're watching i hope on youtube to the fanciest studio setting we've ever had for a podcast with Arish and Farnoosh Aftabi. I can't wait to talk to you guys. we got Thank all you. kinds of stuff to talk about. we got product placement right here in the interview with their wonderful product, Bala Enzyme, that you guys founded, dreamed up, and are bringing to the market a very unique product. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about your background. And geez, thank you to Sparkhouse Studios here in beautiful Orange County. we got multiple cameras. we got perfect sound. We're just ready for a, a, a rock and show here. So, thank welcome. you for having us. I know. I'm, I'm Thanks glad for we the could opportunity. connect. Thank yeah. you, Brad. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, let's talk about your, your dental careers and how this whole thing started. I'm especially interested in um, the field of dentistry. There seems like there's a huge uh, portion of it that's into the holistic aspects of it. And uh, I spoke at a holistic dentistry conference. I told you this uh, years ago, and there was like, you know, a couple thousand dentists there and they were all at like the very cutting edge of health and asking these informed questions and really interested in more than, you know, we think of going to the dentist, we get our cavity, we get our filling, we go home with a free toothbrush, but you guys took that and and ran with it. Definitely. Exactly. So let me tell you a little background about ourselves. You know, I'm also from Orange County. I went to Laguna High School here and graduated from Laguna Hills and went to UCI, got my bachelor's degree in uh, biology. And Wait, then uh, we got to do the ZOT. Is that it? Exactly. UCI. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. If, you're, if you're not familiar, I'm doing an anteater gesture on camera now because the, the UC Irvine That's our sign. proud, <laughs> proud team exactly. mascot is the anteaters. So then I went on to Boston University, then did my dental school for four years. And after that, I did three years of residency in uh, periodontology. Periodontology is the field of uh, gum surgery. 
that we were also, uh, I was doing also research on inflammation and I was working with a, a world renowned uh, researcher. His name is uh, Dr. Tom Van Dyke. We were working on inflammation and uh, using enzymes, plant based enzymes to help patients recover from uh, swelling and inflammation they were suffering after or- oral surgeries and dental procedures. Once I graduated in uh, 2001, I started um, my practice in Seal Beach and uh, we were giving enzymes to our patients, plant based enzymes after dental procedures to help them recover from. Uh, inflammation they were suffering for after you know dental uh, extractions, bone graft, dental implants, and uh, patients uh, you know were feeling a lot better after taking these enzymes with, with their oral uh, procedures, and they were also reporting back to us that they feel a lot better with their joints and muscle, uh-huh. and overall their wellness was increased, and they recover a lot faster if they were a runner or if they, they were cycling or skiing. And you realize these enzymes, is, you know, they're, they're really unique and they're superior and they're really something, we have something that's, you know, it's even bigger than our dental clinic, a small dental clinic. We were just giving these enzymes to our patient, but there's a bigger problem out there. And the problem is that people are looking for a natural way to recover and they want to get back in, you know, in shape and be active and they don't have any, any alternative. There's, you know, they take pharmaceutical, they take up, you know, um, drugs that have a lot of side effects. But these plant-based enzymes are really unique and superior because they have no side effects. They're sugar-free, non-GMO, gluten-free. So we really think, you know, thought that you know, this is something that everybody can benefit from, you know, these health benefits. And we really need to get it out there so everybody can get their hands on it and they can try it for themselves. And my wife was also practicing with me. And uh, she can tell, you know, what, you know, the little background about yourself. Okay. My name is Farnoosh Fadavi, and I was an endodontist. Uh, we actually met at postgraduate. So endodontist and Perio. your periodontist. Exactly. And and periodontist is gum. Perio means gum. Yeah. Endo comes it's from root canal. canal. Surgical, root canal surgical. Yeah. Two people you want to see on the beach, the grocery store, <laughs> yeah. at the pool in Hawaii, but not in their office, I guess. That's trouble, huh? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And and is inflammation kind of a contributing factor to someone who's developing these, these horrible dental conditions? Yeah, inflammation is underlying issue for all problems human beings suffer, you know, inflammation, sure. underlying issue that we have, even cancer, even they realize uh, even some, some of the issues we have with dementia and stuff. A lot of problems we have is it starts with the underlying issue that we have with inflammation. Inflammation is root cause of many problems. And Mother Earth provides a solution. You know, a lot of stuff comes from Mother Earth and you need to go and search for it and find the solution. And I think uh, these enzymes coming from food, pineapple, papaya, and turmeric, uh, which is another, uh, you know, enzymes that curcumin that comes from turmeric. They're really, uh, you know, unique and, you know, they can provide the solution to inflammation that we suffer. Okay, so you're doing endo- yeah, so I, endodontry? How do you say endodontics. it? Endodontics. Endodontics. Thank you yes. very much. So I practiced 20 years and, you know, as Arash is mentioning, you know, we will give the, all those, you know, separately these ingredients to our patients uh, for uh, bruising to reduce the bruising and mm-hmm. swelling after the dental procedures, and um, you know we just got great you know uh, results from the patients and feedback, and then we decided to start putting these together and you know bring it provided to public so everybody can benefit from all this natural way of recovering and getting rid of the inflammation. So when you were doing the initial research in Boston, what were you giving the patients? Would you go buy a certain kind of enzymes at the health food store? No, we were using a, a enzyme called bromelain. Bromelain comes from yeah. the core of the pineapple. When you cut the pineapple, the stem, the core is full of an enzyme called bromelain. Most people, when they cut the pineapple, they throw that stem out. They, they just the thing is, you know, because it's, it's hard and it's hard to eat it. If you blend it, you can maybe consume it, but it, it's hard to consume it because it's really hard. And so most people, majority of people just throw it out. But that core is full of an enzyme called bromelain. Mm-hmm. We were doing research on bromelain. Bromelain uh, provides anti-inflammation and it provides, it's a very potent and strong um, enzyme that provides, you know, a strong anti-inflammatory response. And we were doing research on bromelain. Once I graduated, uh, I, I was exposed to uh, another enzyme that was uh, doing research and I learned about papain. Papain comes from a food called papaya. Um, papain is a, a enzyme that a lot of people in South America and Asia use for uh, fever, for malaria, for aches and pain. They use it for uh, um, you know metabolism. If you know they use it for you know for gut health, and some people use papain for skin. They put it on the skin in order to for cosmetic. You know, it makes your skin glow and it's good for your also uh, make your skin younger. And f- uh, my wife Farnoosh was taking. Um, Turmeric on a regular basis because mm-hmm. she was offering uh, suffering from aches and pain and uh, joint problem, 
and I was introduced to her to uh, turmeric and curcumin, which is the active ingredient of turmeric. And through that, uh, you know, we decided that, okay, we have the bromelin that I was really, you know, I knew a lot about bromelin and perpain I was giving also to my patient. And she brought, uh, she introduced me to curcumin and we were, she was giving turmeric to her patient. I was doing perpain and bromelin. And we realized, okay, these, these enzymes are really strong and they're potent. Efficacy is really there. And uh, we decided to work with the biochemist to put a formulation together and put a, a taste on it because it was, you know, turmeric by itself is really strong taste. A lot of people cannot tolerate turmeric or ginger yeah. by itself because it's really, you know, some people don't have the palate for it. We hired a biochemist who, who was working for, a, you, know, a, you know, big company. And then we worked with him for two years, going through multiple batches back and forth to make sure mm-hmm. that this also tastes good. Not only the health benefits are there, also mm-hmm. is, it has a good flavor. So people can try it because if it doesn't taste right, majority of people don't want to try it. And it, we didn't want to make it like a pill. We decided to make it, you know, like a drink so that so people can drink it and get Benefit hydrated long. and get the electrolytes because it has electrolytes. So you get hydration plus the anti-inflammation that it offers. So after going multiple back and forth, finally, we put a great flavor, which is comes in pineapple flavor, lime and berry. And again, it took us a long time. And then, we, you know, Farnoosh had an accident because we were putting this behind, on the side because bringing a brand, you know, making a company, we, would have, we had two busy practices. We were very successful. We said, okay, we don't want to launch a brand. It takes I'm so much time. Kids having kids. Having kids, you know, busy. and then we were busy. We said, who wants to, you know, bring in a brand and launch a brand or make a company? Because it's very time consuming. It takes a lot of capital. We just put it aside. It was on a back burner. We had, we were, you know, we had the, you know, idea to bring in this brand eventually, you know, to, to market. But we were so busy with our practice and our life and the kids. And Farnoosh had an accident. And what happened to it was a motivation behind, you know, for us to bring this brand to market and really said, we really need to get this out in people's hands. This is really a life changer. A lot of people can benefit from this. It's not only in our dental clinic or it's not, it's not just, you know, there just for us to build a company or brand or name, name for ourselves. This is really going to change people's life. And she can tell you about her accident and what motivated us to really launch yeah. this brand. I practiced 20 years and I had two practices, very busy offices, you know, and um, I had two daughters and I had to actually, you know, take care of them, take care of my both busy practices. And then one day I just, you know, got just stuck in the court in my, you know, in my operatory and went with my shoulder down and I broke my shoulder and my hip at the same time. So you were like working on a patient in the office. Yes, I numbed my yeah. patient and that happened right after before I even started her, uh, his root canal. And um, because of that, you know, I, I was six hours under surgery, eight days in a hospital and about four to five months of recovery after that. I basically loved my job and, you know, what I did and the comfort that the patient had under my hand. With the microscope, you know, you have long procedure for a root canal and you have to have your hand steady like that. And after my surgery, I cannot hold my hand for too long So your major injuries were the shoulder? Is my my shoulder. I have a big rod in my shoulder, eight, nine pins, and I have pins on my left hip because I broke both of them. And um, basically that forced me to retire from what I love to do. Uh, So after that, I'm very sensitive to pharmaceutical. So with all my surgeries, I couldn't take any pharmaceutical for my pain. Uh, I get internal bleeding with all the medication and I'm very sensitive to the point Vicodin and any of those meds Mm -hmm. made me sick to my stomach that I cannot, I rather have pain over, you know, (laughs) feeling that way. So at that point, you know, we were very serious. We were in the middle of production of that. And then that really became my mission to, you know, give this product uh, to, you know, people's hand and whoever cannot tolerate any pharmaceutical or they're looking for some alternative, you know, to pharmaceutical, they can use this uh, natural plant-based enzyme to recover. Um I was diagnosed with early onset of osteoporosis, and that's the reason my fall was really bad. And even though it was from the ground, but it felt like I was falling from third floor down. Mm. It was as bad as that, the impact of it. So basically, um, I was very active doing, you know, a lot of exercises, skiing. And now, unfortunately, I cannot do any of those. Uh, So I have to take it easy. And if... It wasn't because of the bala, you know, I'd be there night 
achy and I cannot like function mm-hmm. and do my daily activities. As we age, you know, as we age, we put mileage on our joints and muscle, <laughs> and you know, we want to stay active. Uh, it's our human nature. We want to, you know, be active. And either, you know, you start looking for pharmaceutical, you reach out to a cabinet to uh, take something that will help you with your aches and pain, knee pain, joint pain, muscle recovery. And all those have side effects, either damage your kidney or liver or cause GI bleeding or problem. And uh, our society has problem with the addiction and narcotics too. So narcotics is also not a solution because I know a lot of hardcore athletes do take narcotics to help them recover. And I, I really don't recommend it to my patients. So uh, using a plant-based enzyme, which is, you know, it's safe. And, you know, you look at, you know, what you're putting this enzyme that's coming from fruit and plants. And there's not, no side effect to it and helps you get over all your aches and pain and inflammation. So it's, it's really a good solution. And, you know, um, our society needs something like that for alternative natural way uh, to help, help them with all the problems that we have right now. And you're an athlete yourself. You, you know what I'm talking about because you're, you're, I see in your Instagram that you're always pushing your limit and pushing yourself. And, uh, <laughs> and, and then, you know, the body eventually, your brain keeps telling you, keep going, keep going. Mm-hmm. You're, it's only 18, but the body tells you, slow down. You're not 18 anymore. You're mm-hmm. not 20 anymore. You just, I, the body tells you that it needs to, re- you know, you need to stop and you need to recover. And that's what, you know, we had people like you in our, in our mind when we designed this, that, you know, people want to, you know, push the envelopes. They want to be active. They want to, you know, go out there and still run and do cycling and skiing. And we don't want to give up all the stuff that we like. So. Or even just a regular life, you know, like right. uh, we get a lot of feedback, you know, from nurses that they are in their feet mm. all day long. Exactly. And, you know, they get tired. This gives them energy, gives them hydration, gets rid of their, you know, muscle ache and cough muscle that, you know, they get tired mm-hmm. of standing up. A lot of people from, you know. Home Depot, Blue Workers, hair, they hair like stylist, it. My hairstylist hair mm-hmm. loves it. it. He's on his feet all day long. He's aching. Yeah. So it's it, not, yeah. It's re- seriously for everybody and not only people who basically just exercise. And, and the hydration also has electrolytes, as you mean, as you, all, all of us know, we don't drink enough water. So uh, you need to, uh, you know, drink a lot of water per day, but be busy, you know, we're always on the run. So this has electrolytes, it will help you with hydration. And has amino acids, you know, we use a specific amino acid at a specific dose that would act like a sugar. It doesn't have any sugar. A lot of people put sugar in the formulation in order. Uh, sugar is like a pump. It will make the ingredients get resorbed to your uh, system through, mm. through the sugar. Or in, in case of turmeric, they use uh, black pepper. Black pepper acts like a pump that will make you, make you uh, absorb the uh, turmeric. Instead of black pepper or sugar, we use uh, amino acid in order to act like a facilitator and make you make you uh, resor- absorb all these uh, enzymes and uh, turmeric. And uh, amino acids are also very beneficial. And this uh, mechanism is very safe, and you don't you don't you don't put any sugar in your body because as an athlete you don't want to exercise. Let's say you run five miles and come home and you open that uh, highly loaded sugary drink and all that calories you, you know you put back in your body again. So. People don't want to do that. As soon as you, you know, you, you exercise and you put sugar back in your system, and sugar will shock your system. You get that, you know, spike in the, your sugar level, and then you get a, a crash. And it's, it's not the best way. And sugar, you know, is toxic. It's, it's, I would say it's poison. If sugar was discovered in our lifetime, it would not get FDA approved. I promise you that because it has so much side effects. It has so much problem. Yeah, it will not someone get tried to bring that. sugar to market. Yeah, so slammed. we're lucky it was discovered in eight, uh, back in 17th, 18th century. If it was discovered now in our time, FDA will not approve it because it has so much uh, problem. And people who are, who are diabetic, who have diabetes, cannot take sugary drinks, cannot take, you know, mm. pr- product with sugar. And you look at, you walk in the aisle of supermarket now, and as soon as you pick up a product, you look at the back. You look at the supplemental fact sheet, you see how much sugar it has. In the old days, we used to just go and grab, you know, cookies, mm-hmm. co- Coke and sodas and all, all the this stuff bad for you, put it in your cart. You would not pay attention. Now people are health conscious mm-hmm. than ever than before. They look at the supplemental fact sheet. They see what they're putting in the body, how much sugar it has, how much calorie, how much carb it has. Bolo has zero carbs, zero sugar, only has 10 calories. So it's really something, uh, you know, healthy and safe. And, you know, people, people are very health conscious, even I think after COVID, even, even then before that COVID, because people realize that health and wellness is the most precious thing that they ever have. Mm. And your health is just is the most precious. You can, you can have all the money in the world. And if you get, you know, a, a bug or something, you can die next day. So you really care about your health, you health, care about health, wellness, and you really want to go out there and find the best solution for your, for, for your body. And Bala just fits in that era, time and era. I think people who want to stay active can really take advantage of this. 
Sugar would not be approved for human consumption these days. <laughs> exactly. That's funny. And the, the energy drink market has been so strong for decades. And I think it's predicated on the original idea. You know, Gatorade came out because the football players took it on the sideline and felt better. And so if you're pushing yourself to the absolute limit of a difficult, hot, sweaty workout, of course, you're going to take sugar because it's going to get you through the workout. Exactly. But for some reason now, we consume it all day long, especially with the Starbucks scene. And uh, we're just exactly. pounding these liquid sugar calories in. And exactly. boy, I mean, it contributes to inflammatory state in the body. Exactly. So I guess this would be kind of your, your drink is the opposite with no sugar and anti-inflammatory exactly. properties. I tell people you get up in the morning. First thing you have is a, like so, some old people have orange juice in the morning and that's full of sugar. And you put all that sugar in your body. <laughs> Sorry, that's a shot. Old people and young people, <laughs> young I people, notice. They yeah. all people that, of all yeah. ages, sizes. And I said, don't do that. You, you drink, you take, take the ball out. It has no sugar. It help, provides you the anti-inflammation you're looking for. And then that orange juice is full of sugar. It's all, you know, it's, 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 first of all, it just shocks your body. It's not the healthiest thing to do in the morning. Right. It has a, it has a tiny bit of yeah. antioxidant properties or yeah. whatever the benefits that are shown on the commercial. Exactly. But this is kind of, you know, cutting out all the, the adverse effects. And, you know, caffeine and energy drinks full of sugar, full of, full of caffeine. You, you know, caffeine is, you know, you get people, I see that have tremor, they get sugar, just so much sugar. And, you know, as you said, Starbucks products. And uh, you just have to be careful because, you know, you don't want to put sugar in your body. It's just, it, it causes cancer, it's cancerous, it causes a lot of problems. People who are, uh, have, um, you know, a lot of issues with sugar that, you know, if they take, continue taking it, they will suffer more and more symptoms and problems. So um, I'm really against sugar. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm He's really, against sugar, I'm, people. Fire yeah. yeah. is against sugar. <laughs> yeah. down, down with sugar. Sugar is, is yeah. causing a lot of problems in society. And the problem is since we were a kid, we had so much sugars and our palates are used to it. If you don't have sugar, we crave for it. It's like a drug because we, since we were little, we give so much soda, so much candies. So we're just used to it. And our brain is craving for it. It's like a drug. And if you, if you give it, uh, if I give, uh, drink something that is not sugary, I may not feel good because, it, you know, my body is telling me it's not, it doesn't have enough sugar. Because, but you get used to it. Yeah, you get used to it. Oh, you can change your habit. Quickly, you can change your habit. Yeah, but, amazingly but, so. But you know what yeah. I'm talking about? People, we, we, since we, our generation has been bombarded with sugary products and mm -hmm. sugary drinks. And it's a, it's a problem our society is suffering from because, uh, you know, uh, I try to, you know, not give my kids uh, sugar. And, you know, I see that. They, yeah, it's a it's battle, not, yeah. man. I, know. It's a, I, I fought that battle, too. And you know how I, it is. Yeah. I, I told my kids all along, I go, here, here's the deal. I'm, I'm going to try to be a, yeah. a nice dad, but I'm going to be fighting these two battles. And that is the exactly. video, video screen time and the sugar consumption. And um, boy, it, it's it's you, you hear doctors say this frequently these sound bites come in and out like sugar has addictive properties it's really bad and then we, we go on with our busy day um and i had dr robert lustig on author of metabolical and many other books and one of the world's leading anti-sugar crusaders and he's describing in detail that these that this agent lights up the dopamine receptors in the brain in the same manner as the opioid drugs that exactly. we all know are so terrible and addictive and all that and so um we've had kind of messaging in in the past about improving your diet. Maybe you're going to cut back gradually and you're going to work on your Starbucks habit and only go there once a day. And it's almost like I've come around to saying, look, this has to be a cold turkey approach because if you let sugar leak in here and there, yeah. and there's an excuse on this Friday because it's Friday night. So of course we're going to go get ice cream because, uh, you know, we're the weekends, the weekends it's here. Cheap it's cheap the, yeah. Now, now my, my, my dropping my kid off at Chuck E. Cheese. And of course I'm going to come in and have a slice of cake because I don't want to, you know, offend the, the host. And so it, it leaks into our life, even with our best intentions. And then we start heading down that path instead exactly. of a, a cleaner path. So that's a vote for, and that's what I like about this drink is like it, it hits that, um, you know, that, that satisfaction level in comparison to water. You know, now I'm spoiled. I won't drink water. I drink my homemade kombucha. I'll drink a, a powder, drink a bowel like you recommend first thing in the morning. And um, it, it, I think it contributes to uh, devoted use because it does taste good. It's not some exactly. chalky thing that yeah. someone's saying is good for you. So exactly. I like how you put you want the thing to work. You want it to taste good. And then now we're talking about a winning product. Perfect. Yeah, But, it's, you know, you yeah. can make different things. Like you can make popsicle with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that. You, yeah. can, uh, you can put it in a smoothie you like. Mm -hmm. um, you can add it to some champagne and make a mimosa <laughs> out of it in the uh, morning. Hey, and then uh, use it the breakfast. next day straight for hangover um, cure. Honestly, heard that. you can just use it. Like I, when I'm at home, sometimes I put ice and I want to yeah. drink it cold. Then I drink it that yeah. way. So 
you can make exactly. it different ways so you enjoy it with different flavors that we what have. What we really want your listeners to understand is this is a scientific product. There's a lot of science behind it. And uh, we don't want to get into too much science when we, mar- you know, we, we put, you know, market this brand because people sometimes too much science will scare people away. But it's really scientific. We put a lot of time and research behind it. And it's really unique. And they, really, they can benefit from this if you can try it for a few days and they can experience it for themselves. And, uh, you know, uh, again, um, people, uh, Bala comes from balance. Uh, this first forward mm-hmm. of uh, balance, Bala. We want to give people the balance of life back, be active, you know, never never sit down. You know, even if you're sitting behind the computer all day long on your Zoom doing meeting, you're going to have a backache. You're going to have a sore back when you get up. So this will help you. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to be like, you know, yourself. You know, I know you're athlete. a super athlete yourself, but someone who's sitting on the, uh, you know, uh, you know, and, and, you know, behind the computer all day long, or on the Home Depot or construction worker can also benefit from this. That you know, they're just going to be having aches and pain when they get home at night. So uh, we, we're focusing on athletes right now because they're always looking for the best way to recover. But the, there's a broader uh, people who can, uh, can take advantage of Bala and you know, feel better with their body and feel better faster. Well, I'm concerned there's a lot of people out there that are popping the the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, ibuprofen, Advil, Tylenol, things uh, like they're uh, nothing because exactly. they don't need a prescription. And so maybe can you guys describe like the different the difference what's happening I- inside your, your your cellular function, your genetic switches when you when you swallow an Advil versus when you consume a plant based such as a, a a meal that has anti-inflammatory properties or a concentrated sure. dose. And why is it superior to just getting that instant relief from your sore back when you when you pop an Advil before you go out sure. and play basketball? I'm just going to talk like high school level science. I don't want to make it too complicated. But when you that's take, good because I was not yeah. paying attention in high yeah. school. I was sitting in the back. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to need do, this. I don't want to make it like a graduate level course. But when you take ibuprofen, uh, it will even if, if you look at the bottle, it says in the back that the long term use of ibuprofen can cause a problem with your uh, kidney GI. Even in the you know, supplemental factories, there's a warning on the back that tells you that it's gonna it's gonna affect your system in the long run. So when you take ibuprofen for so long, it is gonna damage your GI or damage your uh, kidney. If you take Tylenol for too long, it's gonna damage your liver. It, you know you can see on the warning it says that. So you know that you're taking something in the long run it will affect your organs and it's gonna help hurt you. So it's it's, it's 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 even the companies who manufacture these will tell you. <laughs> and I told you narcotics is an issue. People tell. Take narcotics and say, "Oh, it's natural." It's, uh, but narcotics also has issue with addiction. And once you get addicted, then you need to take it, you know, forever. And our society has a lot of problem right now with uh, narcotics. So I don't recommend narcotics if you want to get over your aches and pains. <laughs> but you know, when you take plant-based enzymes coming from food, uh, then mother Mother Nature is the best medicine, is the best doctor out there. It's all food: papaya, pineapple, and uh, turmeric. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no sugar. We, we didn't add any sugar to it. Amino acids are healthy for you. And also come from plant-based uh, flavors. Natural is from uh, you know everything is you know that you see in, in this product is, is natural. So uh, you're really uh, taking something that doesn't cause any problem in, in your body, and you're not damaging any organ or uh, any, as you said, the genetic level. You're not getting uh, you know that uh, once once you get exposed to narcotics or, or even ibuprofen, genetically you can get predisposed, and then you need to continue this, and then you may even pass it on to your kids. I think uh, if you're if you're Ooh. drinking too much or uh, the problem with drugs and mom and dad can also uh, transfer the gene to the kids and the kids may have a predisposal to alcohol so if they touch it they may have a hard time to uh, you know stop stop it so that's another thing that we can say in a genetic level it's just uh, your body is very sensitive the human body is very complex and sensitive and you really need to see what you're taking putting in your body if you if you want to just have a healthy lifestyle you need to pay more attention do more research Read, uh, you know, uh, read the articles out there and literature. There's an extensive body of literature that supports Bala's uh, uh, ingredients. And uh, if they want to access it, they can come to our website. There's uh, blogs that I, I wrote um, that you can, you can refer to the blogs that, you know, I have there in the blog section under my, under my website and talks about more about the science and background. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a concern of mine because I don't think we understand it well enough when you're, as I understand, when you're taking the, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, you're overriding the you're, you're triggering gene expression directly with the pill and causing an anti-inflammatory response, but at the expense of your body's own natural ability to control inflammation appropriately. And so if you're popping these pills every time you go out to 
the runners love these. They, they love go it. on the ultra They call it vitamin. They call it vitamin. I yeah, see that's people. Right. I, I was yeah. in Huntington Beach Marathon. The people were taking 800 milligram of ibuprofen. I said, "What do you take?" That? I said, "It's my vitamin. If I don't take it, I can't." I need to. And then they started a the few days before the run, so they get, oh. they get that kick in the in the system, and they yeah. continue for <clears> afterward. <throat> that's caused so much damage, and I see that. I feel. I but, said, oh um, my god. Something I want to mention. You know, with Bala, uh, you have like when you start taking it, you feel hydrated and you feel. You feel energetic, but then after you have to continuously take it for five days in order to feel the anti-inflammatory effect of it. Mm. So it's something that is not going to happen like Advil that you pop and in one hour you feel better. It's something that you need to start taking it little by little to gradually build into your system. And then keep doing it. But from the first day, you feel that, you know, yeah, you, know, you hydrated, do feel you hydrated and better. But yeah. then the fifth day, you started to feel the anti-inflammatory effect. Like if you have knee aching and, you know, back mm-hmm. pain. Yeah. Unlike a steroid or cortisone, because cortisone is steroid. When you have, yeah. a, you take it and you did, you feel it like the next day or the next 48 hours, you feel start feeling the effect. But you know how much, you know, damaged cortisone and a steroid has. A steroid is, it has a lot of issues. And cortisone for, for muscle you know, cause the, uh, you know, bone loss, uh, osteoporosis. Mm. Uh, so you don't want to take cortisone. If, if you have an injury, then maybe sometimes you have no choice to take cortisone to feel better. If you have a, like a frozen shoulder or something like that. But over a long run, many doctors, you know, avoid prescribing cortisone mm-hmm. because they know it's going to cause a lot of damage. That's more damage than good if you take cortisone on a regular basis. So uh, you have to be really careful. The body is very complex again. And um, you just, uh, everything you take has a side effect. Right. And so when you're taking these, uh, the, 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 the core of the pineapple, the papaya, these antioxidant, uh, anti-inflammatory uh, superstar uh, foods, um, as I understand it, you are consuming the agent and then it's prompting an anti-inflammatory response, antioxidant response in the body, which I, I didn't realize that Dr. Paul Saldino, the carnivore diet expert, explained this to me. And I was like, Okay, so now now we understand this better that um, you're consuming the, the the pineapple and your body responds with an anti-inflammatory response. So it's your body doing the work. You're not actually swallowing um, an agent such as a Tylenol or ibuprofen. Exactly. And I, I believe that's the most exactly. uh, the most profound difference between optimizing your diet, taking the plant-based supplement versus taking a drug. Exactly, exactly. Your, your, body, uh, your body will recover itself. And, uh, you know, inflammation is a, you know, is a process when you have an injury or you have a, you have a tumor or you have a virus coming to your body. Inflammation is a way of our body reacting to that virus or a tumor or a injury that, you know, send you the, you know, the T cells and white cells and they're trying to fight that uh, foreign uh, uh, virus or bug. And the inflammation is a process of our body reacting to a pro- uh, injury, and that that, that causes sometimes problem by itself. Like in the case of COVID, when you have a, vi- a virus coming uh, getting into your lung, the body overreacts. Once you realize, okay, you have a strong virus coming to your body, and then overreacts with the um, inflammation, and sometimes that inflammation can choke up the lung, and that's why you get you know people cannot mm. breathe because it's not the virus that is killing you or causing problem. It's your body that reacting, yeah. overreacting actually. Inflammation is overreacting to a foreign body uh, in case of COVID uh, because the COVID gets in the body and the, the body doesn't detect it. Once it gets to the lung and it, it starts, you know, expanding, once body realizes, oh, we have a problem and then it tells the T cells and Y cells, go ahead and attack this you know, problem. And they start going toward the lung and the lung gets choked up because all, all the inflammation co- coming from your own immune system, your immune mm-hmm. system is overreacting to that virus. And that's why people cannot breathe and they put them on the ventilator and sometimes it's hard to save them. So it's, it's just our body immune system sometimes causing that huge inflammation overreaction that cause trouble. And you want all this, you know, make sure that the body doesn't overreact with inflammation. You just, and, you know, you just keep it under, under level and uh, you just, you don't want to over, you know, the body just get in the shock. Right. We want to optimize the inflammatory response at all times. And I think sometimes we don't speak carefully and people get this idea that inflammation is bad and anti-inflammatory is, is what you want. But when you're going and doing a workout exactly. or when you're uh, getting the, well, there's the viral load and then the exactly. cytokine load is what uh, the term is for the inflammatory response. So maybe someone's going to sneeze on you at some point. You want to have an appropriate inflammatory response to yes, knock out, exactly. just like when you catch a cold or whatever you're, you're getting. Or if you uh, twist an ankle, um, you know, the inflammation is part exactly. of the healing process. But if it spins out of control because you're, you, yeah. you've, um, you haven't taken care of yourself, 
that's what that's what we're talking about is is um, inflammatory balance or some other Definitely, term like that. Exactly. You had good podcasts about uh, this process. I listened to your podcast, and I think you explained that to your audience that you know uh, inflama- inflammatory response will happen even if you walk for a long, you know, for a mile. You're going to have inflammation that you know kick in your system, trying to recover your body. So it's a natural way of you know our body you know responding to every, every day uh, you know uh, symptoms. So. It's not. It's not nothing wrong with inflammation, but you just want to mm-hmm. not have. You want to have an over inflammation or overactive inflammation that will cause tr- trouble for your body. It's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Hey, this is going to be one of my favorite commercials because I get to introduce you to the delicious, nutritious, life changing Brad's Macadamia Masterpiece. This is a mind blowing nut butter blend that will soon ascend to your number one go to snack, treat, or accoutrement for anything from dark chocolate, a cucumber celery smear, or mixed in with yogurt, oatmeal, cheesecake, or with a spoon right into your mouth, heading south. Let me, let me, let me tell you what I created in my kitchen through whirlwind experimentation and extreme sampling to my VIP product testing crew across the nation so far with 100% approval. In this beautiful jar, we have macadamia nuts, walnuts, cashews, the rare and precious coconut butter, coconut flakes, cacao nibs, real ancient sea salt, and organic MCT oil. Every single ingredient has been sourced to origin to be the very best we could find from around the world for the absolute highest purity and nutritional value. We run this product in small batches with a boutique family business in the Pacific Northwest, and everything is cold-pressed to preserve nutritional value. So if you like eating healthy, it's a dream come true for all those who are keto, primal, paleo, and vegan vegetarian too. I come in peace, my global healthy living friends. Masterpiece that is. Try some now and it will change your life. I promise. If you don't like it, send it back to me. I'll eat it. You can order Brad's Macadamia Masterpiece on Amazon. Simple, simple. Or if you're bold, daring, and adventurous, buy three and get a bottle free at bradventures.com. Buy six and we'll send you eight. Christmas shopping early instead of late at bradventures.com. Check it out. Brad's Macadamia Masterpiece. Uh. Okay, I want to get a further understanding about this concept of inflammation and how we can um, you know, dietary interventions, drug interventions, all those things. So um, if I if I got that straight, when you consume the uh, even the over-the-counter drug or, of course, the prescription drug, you're just, boom, you're going in, you're shutting off the genes that produce inflammatory agents. Uh, but prolactin is one of them. Or, exactly. Right. And so my low back is, is tight and inflamed. Boom, I swallow the, the, uh, the, the drug of choice, and all of a sudden it feels loose and ready to go. And one other um, danger there is I feel so good. I feel like I can grab the rim today, even though I started out with this horribly tight back, which was really just protecting me from further potential injury because something's off with my musculoskeletal function. So now I'm, I'm masking the, the pain and the, uh, the, the potential uh, for, for demise, which is absolutely impossible when you're talking about a plant-based or a dietary type strategy because you're not overriding uh, the genetics, which is the genetic function. Exactly. Okay, so if we have that straight now, uh, we know that we don't just want to shut down inflammation wholesale. That's a, a flawed interpretation of the story. So what we're doing is, um, and maybe maybe go a little deeper here, like we consume a product that has anti-inflammatory properties. And Brad here, the guy that didn't pay attention mm-hmm. to high school science, I thought it was you grab that handful of blueberries and you're swallowing all these antioxidants into your body, but that's not really what's going on. It's that, in fact, some of these superstar antioxidant, anti-inflammatory foods or or, or supplements have pro-oxidant properties. And so your body's fighting back because it's getting uh, the plant antigen or the plant toxin that's that's coming down down the pipe with this wonderful antioxidant, anti-inflammatory response. Exactly. Uh, Very well said, uh, Brad. You're very educated and... uh... You, I know you do a lot of research and you're very... Uh, very since high school, yeah. it's all since. <laughs> yeah, you're very sophisticated conversation. But uh, yeah, you don't want to shut the organs or uh, mask the inflammation completely. Uh, the inflammation is a way of our body responding to any injuries or any any uh, foreign material. So uh, taking the pharmaceutical, sometimes you mask the process, you block the process, and you cause damage by blocking the organs. 
And that's why in the long run, uh, you get kidney and liver problems. So uh, you just don't want to uh, continue taking pharmaceutical for long term. I mean, I, people, t- I know they keep continue taking it, but you don't want to do it for long term because it will have a, a consequences and it will have a serious side, side effect. effects. Yeah. So you have to be careful. These enzymes will release, decrease the inflammation, but in a way that it doesn't block the organs, it doesn't affect the genetics, and you still have a functioning organ, and you, can, uh, you don't have to have a, a damaged liver or kidney in the long run. Okay, back to high school uh, biology. What is an enzyme? We've heard that term 27 times so yeah, far. Yeah. Just to clarify. In a simple way. <laughs> so enzyme is actually accelerate uh, all the activities into your uh, body. So what an enzyme does, it makes, like, let's say the hydration faster when you have it or makes, you know, helps your gut for digestion and, you know, kind of accelerate the anti-inflammatory effect that is into your system. Exactly. Um, you said it very well. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's, it speeds up the process. Everything, all the chemical, uh, every reaction in our body has a specific enzyme that helps it, you know, take a reaction and action. It's like an accelerator. Yes. Exactly. So we make our own. I know we make um, digestive enzymes in the mouth uh, when we're looking at the menu. Exactly. Right. And exactly. in terms of the stomach is... <laughs> is secreting the digestive enzymes, and then they're also uh, potentially in in our diet. Yeah, correct, correct. We make a lot of enzymes. Unfortunately, yes. we don't make the plant based enzyme bromelain that I uh, spoke about. It comes from uh, pineapple. That that enzyme is not made with our body. We have enzymes that helps mm. with the metabolisms and uh, anti inflammation. We have a pepain that comes from papaya. That's also from plant based. That doesn't get produced in our uh, naturally in our body. So we need to we take taking it by taking bala. And curcumin, which is active ingredients of turmeric. And I don't know if you know about turmeric. Turmeric is a miracle spice. It's been used for thousands of years in, uh, in Asia. Asia, India. People use it in cooking. Uh, and then, uh, you know, people, you know, they, they can store with it. It's just, it's just amazing uh, spice that you can take it and it has a lot of health benefits. And uh, it's recently been discovered in U.S. and it's growing. The category in the market is really growing. Mm. Uh, you can go to Costco and you can see that turmeric has its own aisle and its own, <laughs> you know, huge, uh, you know, pallets of curcumin and, you know, and turmeric are, you know, being in the stores. So it's really just it's been discovered in U.S. and I think it's growing. And, uh, you know, the, you know, people are realizing how, you know, how much effect it has on, on their body. It has anti-inflammatory and also helps with the anti-cancerous uh, property and with metabolism, weight loss, you name it. Turmeric is it's really, uh, it's really amazing. And um, I think uh, in the next 10 or 15 years, more people will start consuming turmeric and, and they will learn about the health benefit it offers. Um, she was taking turmeric from from long time ago and uh, she really uh, believes in it. And I got introduced to her. And I think uh, more and more people need to uh, be familiar and learn about turmeric and what it offers for the body. It's very orange, which is why we're on an orange background. Any flavor comes out orange, yeah. even if you start with the, the, the red or the, the yellow one. Yeah. And so that's just the overwhelming exactly. uh, flavor and, or the yeah. color intensity yeah. of turmeric. We, we, were, uh, we were discussing to put a, uh, artificial, some people recommend to put an artificial color. So lime is uh, <laughs> green. And berry is purple. Yes, and consumers pineapple. demand this. Yeah. Well, we said, no, we want to stay clean uh, ingredients. We mm. don't want to add any artificial coloring because a lot of uh, uh, sports drink put artificial color. So there's different color for each different flavor. This is all in orange because it's orange, mm-hmm. vibrant orange from, comes from turmeric. We didn't add any artificial coloring. We don't want to, we don't want to make it look pretty and have different color for each flavor. We said we want to have cleaning. If we're taking this for ourselves and our kids are taking this, they play tennis and they take this on a regular basis. We want something that we take on ourselves. We want our, our patient and our, uh, whoever consumers. is going to buy consumers to take this. And we don't want any uh, coloring effect because um, as a mar- marketing, uh, you know, point of view, it will help if you have different color for each flavor. People will differentiate your uh, bra- uh, brand. But we said we want to stay uh, clean. clean uh, uh, just raw uh, turmeric is orange, vibrant color, and all our flavors uh, have the same color mm-hmm. because there's no coloring uh, added to it. So we just stick with the science and uh, clean um, again and, product. And something that you know comes up sometimes from consumer is like um, it doesn't get you know dissolved. 100 percent well it's not sugar to get this off is uh you know <laughs> the com- the all complaint, these the complaint yes, file all these, no it's just good for people who know you know yeah. all these ingredients they're organic so once in a while when it sits it does have a little bit of you know 
That's his uh, turmeric, yeah. It's, it's a real deal. People. So you just quickly shake it up mm-hmm. yeah. and you just drink it. Yeah, so turmeric needs to be heated in a in a in a in some temperature. You know, it's completely 100%. dissolved. That's why they use mm-hmm. it for cooking uh, in India mm-hmm. and Asia. They, 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 but once it's heated, it's completely dissolved. But if you put it in a, your drink and you shake it, it's, it's little residue is always there. Yeah. And that shows it's actually turmeric. It's not mm-hmm. just you know you're not doing uh, you know something that is ke- uh, chemical and it's actually organic turmeric that we're putting in our product. So. That's a little bit of the juice, that turmeric that you see. And um, honestly, uh, turmeric has been a life changer for myself. I've, I've been to, and I told you I have a knee uh, injury yeah. from playing soccer. I ski, uh, I still, I'm really active and I take bala and turmeric and it's been helping me to get back in shape and, you know, you know do the things that I love. You know, I, I'm not at, as in good shape as you are. <laughs> I, I try to keep up with you, Brad, but I want to stay active. And, you know, as, as we age, every 10 years, you start you're feeling your body, you know, it's slowing down. And uh, it's it just... You just want to keep going, and uh, I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, get old. <laughs> that's 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 my philosophy. You have to keep. You don't have to push push yourself. Love it. You have to keep fighting. You yeah, you got to keep fighting the yeah, battle. Exactly. So, is it possible to uh, surround yourself with incredible, uh, fresh, real foods and drinking five drinks a day? And can you take too many? Um, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant property foods and supplements. Is there any? Is there any uh, downside to question. really hitting it hard? That's a good question. You have to really talk to your doctor if you have some. Uh, underlying I want to talk medical. to my doctor about <laughs> this. I'm the last guy I I'd talk to. But if you have underlying what about issue, my auto mechanic. Yeah, I know. I mean, maybe I know. he knows more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If you have underlying issue, you may always want to. If you take too many supplements, you want to make sure that oh, it sure. doesn't interact yeah. with your, uh, yeah. you know, issue of yeah, if you taking medication. But uh, you know. Uh, but as far as Bala is concerned, I can tell you that there's no side effects. If you He's t- tried it. He, yeah. took, he drank four gallons one yeah. day. He was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The only thing is this enzyme that can cause your blood to be thinner. It can cause mm-hmm. a thinning of a blood. That's a mm-hmm. anti anti-inflammation. So mm-hmm. if you're on a, on a um, heavy uh, blood thinning medication like mm-hmm. Coumadin or heparin, which some people after stroke, they take Coumadin or heparin because they want the blood to be thin and uh, they don't have another episode of a stroke. If you take those kind of heavy, heavy-duty uh, blood thinners, then if you want to take BALA, then maybe you have to consult with your physician because BALA, the enzymes, also cause blood thinning and you don't want to have a, a, a double jeopardy. You don't want to have too much uh, blood thinning going on because if you're taking the heavy-duty heavy, heavy duty pharmaceutical and you take BALA, which is also cause a, a thinning of the blood, if you, God forbid, if you have an accident or if you mm-hmm. have an injury, that you cannot stop the bleeding, that could, can, could be a problem. Mm-hmm. So you want to consult your doctor if you're taking uh, Coumadin or heparin, which are uh, for uh, blood thinning. Other than that, uh, you know, in a higher dose, yeah. just right after, you know, if you have a stroke or something, but in regular basis, you know, it's not that concentrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in regular basis, if somebody is taking aspirin because the doctors recommend to take it, you know, for blood thinning is going to be fine. Mm-hmm. But right after a surgery or something that they put you high level of, you know, blood thinner, then maybe you should consult exactly. your physician. But in regular basis, when people take aspirin a day, uh, they should be okay. Mm-hmm. And then we recommend that not for uh, people who are pregnant or breastfeeding because the reason we recommend it because there's not enough literature and uh, research for us to support that, you know, you know, we don't know if it's going to cause any uh, problem with the protein in the, in the infant because infants are drinking uh, the milk and then the, the enzymes can break down the protein sometimes. So that's why we don't recommend for infants or for <laughs> someone who's breastfeeding or pregnant because there's not enough literature and research for us to make sure that it's completely safe. So there's, when there's not enough clinical research and we, you know, we just, it's, you know, it's a new uh, product. We just want to make sure, you know, we just don't recommend for people yeah, who are. We don't recommend pregnant exactly. or nursing mothers go exactly. to Starbucks either, but they do. So exactly. probably not exactly. our big concern. And yeah. another thing uh, sometimes, Brad, people ask us, okay, I'm going to take the pineapple. I'm going to take the papaya, turmeric, ginger, all this stuff and blend it in the morning in my uh, kitchen and tell them, okay, you have to get all of that. First of all, always on the run, always on the rush. So getting all this fruit, you blend it, you just spend the time. Okay, it's natural, but at the same time, you're putting a lot of sugar by taking all those fruits in your body. So again, mm. your sugar level is going to go up. Though all those fruits have sugar, so you're going to be taking a lot of sugar. If you're, if you're okay with that, that's fine. But again, you have to take time, um, bend all these. And the amino acid we have in this part, formulation, those amino acids that I talk about, the specific amino acid, that specific dose, cause the absorption to be really uh, efficient. And the efficacy is really, really, really strong. And when you take the, all that uh, fruit, uh, you know, you're not, you're not going to absorb it all. First of all, a lot of stuff that we take, some of it doesn't get absorbed and you just, uh, the body does, cannot take everything to your system. 
and the sugar level is going to go to the roof when you take that much that much mm-hmm. food. But so we that's have like thing. the thing is we have like twenty different elements in you know every stick pack. Mm-hmm. So Ingredient, there is yeah. no way that you know you can put all of them in the morning and mix it and then drink it. And it's as easy as taking like one stick pack in the morning for us mom that we're very busy or anybody. Mm-hmm. You just stick it in your purse and then. With 16 ounces exactly. of water, anywhere you are, you can just to go open it, pour it, and yeah, then just drink it. Yeah, if you're going skiing, hiking, biking, you always have a bottle of water with mm-hmm. you. You One stick, you open it, put it in a bottle. Everybody has a bottle of water if you're running. But uh, having a fruit juice and stuff, you know, is not convenient. And this stick is very, very you know, convenient, and it's just open it, it put it in your uh, bottle. And being in a stick pack, I think, is... Uh, uh, less less plastic, less less carbon footprint mm-hmm. on the environment. You don't make bottles of after bottles because all these bottles we're making, it's plastic. It's been contaminating the environment and all. You're the, you trusting know, the consumer to go find exactly. some water. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you can just use your re- reusable yeah water bottle. And then yeah. we were thinking about making bottle be- beverage in the beginning, and we realized uh, through our research that enzymes cannot stay in water for right, too long. Right. Enzymes, if it stays more than two or three hours in the water, it uses efficacy. And the potency goes away. Yeah. So enzymes, once it's mixed in the water, it needs to be consumed soon. After a couple of hours, it, the enzyme doesn't have the benefits yeah. anymore. Yeah, that's why it's in the powder form. And that's why it's, it's in this form. And Same then, with anything in a liquid. Like when you get your liquid protein drink, you're going to be way better off with a powdered protein supplement that's exactly. dry. And Maybe. it still, still has some potency. Exactly. It's just hard to suspend things in liquid. But yes. Yeah, it, it seems like just for you know yeah. consumer convenience, they can't bother buying a water and a pouch. Exactly. But if, if if that's your person, then forget it anyway, right? Exactly. And going back to a question, you can get, take up to three to five a day if you're a heavy yeah. hardcore athletes. The only reason we don't recommend more than three or five because it has sodium, it has electrolytes, and you don't. If you have um, high blood sugar, you don't want to take too much sodium because that also can affect uh, you know your high blood pressure. So a lot of people unfortunately suffer from high blood pressure. And you don't want to you want to watch your sodium level and electrolytes. Mm-hmm. You don't want to have too much electrolytes when you um, you know have a blood uh, blood pressure issue. Up to three eating is actually like perfect. Mm-hmm. Up to three a day. Yeah, one to three a day is perfect. So back when you were uh, suffering post post surgery, and the the um, the prescriptions weren't working for you, and e- even the NSAIDs were causing. Um, yeah, I cannot take NSAID at all. Is that get, common or is that something that... You know, I'm very, very sensitive to pharmaceutical mm-hmm. because I never took drugs. But when I have to take it, I was very sensitive. So with NSAID, I get internal bleeding. So it's just a big no-no for me. Yeah. It's yeah. not I'm not allergic to it. I'm just sensitive to yeah. it that I can't take it. And I'm very sensitive to other, you know, pharmaceuticals such as, you know, narcotics. Mm-hmm. So... Honestly, this was what helped yeah. me through after my surgery. I was taking it like it was so. Up. You had like prototypes. You were you were in the mix of trying to start this business, yeah. and then you're you yes. know b- b- bringing a brand, building a company, and br- launching a brand is not for faint-hearted. It's just it's a lot <laughs> of time and a lot of money and a lot of uh, it takes a toll on your on your family. And <laughs> once she fell, you know, it was really a motivation because she had a bad fall. I mean, I was in office with her. Uh, she just fell and uh, I went over her and she, I realized immediately she, she, she just broke something. And then we called the, uh, the ambulance and they came and they wanted to take her to uh, uh, Los Alamitos Hospital, which is next to my office. And I begged them, no, all, all my doctors, orthopedic surgeons are in Hogue. So please take her to Hogue. And they said, no, we, we're obligated to take her to the closest hospital possible. And I really begged them. I said, all my uh, you know, orthopedic surgeon who we go to is, are in, in Hogue, Newport. So if you can really give me a favor and take her there. So we took, we took her to uh, Newport Beach, Hogue. Oh, they, they said, okay. They, they said, okay. They people, you you yeah. got to assert yourself yeah. when you're dealing with they the, said, anything okay. in the hospital, the ambulance. Exactly. I be, just I, throw down. I just tell them this them, is yeah. what you want and don't, don't take no for because an answer. Because I know yeah. being in the Seal Beach Los Alamitos is not very prepared to deal with the, you know, trauma and fractures like she had because I realized that her shoulder was dis- dislocated. I definitely know the shoulder is broken. I did not know about the hip. We, really, mm-hmm. we found that out in the hospital. But once we, took, we got, got to Hogue, I met the, whoever was on the call was the it was a great orthopedic surgeon. I talked to him. His dad was a dentist, so we, we kind of connected. And he said, "Okay, we need to wait. I, I need the graph for the surgery. We don't have the graph right here. I need to order it. It's going to be here in the morning. So let me put her to sleep. We give her some uh, drug uh, so she be completely knocked out. And in the morning we do the surgery. So I was there all night long, and then just thinking that night that you know uh, how, how she's going to recover. She was very really sensitive even before taking mm-hmm. any ibuprofen. After a few days, she gets GI bleeding." Wow. So after the surgery, it was extensive surgery, almost six hours of, of a procedure. And then 
Uh, we were in hospital almost for a week, uh, uh, staying there every night. And then once we got home, you know, she, she had so much pain and, you know, she couldn't do anything. And I think start taking Bala it was just, it was amazing. I mean, it's a miracle how you Basically, changed your life. Basically, ice was helping me. Yeah. Because when you ice it, you kind of numb the area uh-huh. and reduce inflammation and uh-huh. taking a Bala. And she was doing morphine pump at the hospital, but uh, you cannot bring the morphine pump to your home. And morphine <laughs> it just has so much side effect, you know. Yeah. You're just not yourself. You're obviously knocked out and you're just not functioning. You, know, you, you still want to be able and, to you know, take care of your... The other thing is right after I finish, you know, the surgery and like my daughter wanted me to be on uh, some... Uh, you know, basically osteoporosis medication mm-hmm. and get treatment for that. And um, I'm sure a l- lot of the people who listen to us right now, if they do have osteoporosis and they get treatment for that, you know, you do get a lot of side effects with those uh, treatments. Mm-hmm. You get a lot of joint pain, muscle ache. And uh, I've been going through that since 2018, taking different medication to treat my osteoporosis because I don't want to sneeze and break something mm-hmm. because, you know, my bone density is very bad. So what do they, how do they treat that? So is, there's is there different medication. Yeah. Density? For two years, like I had to take Forteo is an injection. You stick it into your stomach every night. And it has a lot of side effects. It has a lot of side weight, effects. Lifting weight because, you know, but there's, uh, so, you know, there's yeah. so much you can do, but there's so much you can do. Every you medication she treated. takes has an extreme side effect. And Farnoosh being so sensitive, yeah. she has more. Uh, I have to take yeah. it so late at night that I just kind of pass out, mm. and yeah. because it makes you nauseous, you, you get a lot of joint pain, muscle ache, and then if it wasn't because of Bala, honestly, I cannot get up in the morning because mm. my knees hurt, my ankles yeah. hurt, everything hurts. Even when we travel, if you don't take this for a few days, you say, oh, I haven't taken my Bala for a few days. I, yeah. I'm aching and have pain. I take it, but like, let's say we go to trip, I don't take three a day because mm-hmm. I do take three a day. In the morning when I get up, I just fill two of them in this big bottle. And then, at, you know, in the afternoon, I do one more. So normally I do three a day. But if I don't, I I do feel like I get achiness at night. I have like mm. beating pain on my joint. And in the morning, I'm like very mm. stiff. Um, so it is really a big life changer for me. And yeah. I really want to make sure that people hear my voice and, mm. you know, they use it so it can exactly. help them. Yeah, we were just focusing on giving that to our patient and even to doctors to, so can, they can prescribe it after the uh, you know surgeries for their patient to recover from you know, uh, b- bone surgery or dental surgery, but realize there's a bigger problem out there, Brad, that a lot of people could benefit from this. Not, it's not only for a niche of a dental clinic or a orthopedic surgeon or chiropractor who can give this to the patient. There's a broader market out there that yeah. a lot of people are want to be active and they want to exercise and they want to be able to walk and play with their grandkids and they want to, you know, mm-hmm. they want to feel good. And then the only way is just natural way we realize is Bala. There's nothing like it currently on the market. It's really unique. Uh, there's a lot of hydration product but hydration is only potassium and sodium, a lot of sugar. This is not hydration. It, it provides hydration, but it is not just the sodium and potassium, a bunch of sugar. It's, it's really superior to anything out there right now. Yeah, let's talk about the market a little. I, I'm curious. I, I'm sure the listeners would like to know what it's like to get this dream and this idea and then take it all the way to a marketable product. And there's so many moving pieces and it is difficult, like you shared. Exactly. Um, and what are the um, what what are the general categories of products that you see now? We know about the sugary sports drinks, and then there's these hydration drinks that are, I guess, touted to be a little more sophisticated, maybe appealing directly to the the real athletes and the runners. And I know there's some um, effervescence that you can exactly. drop in that give you the electrolytes. Exactly. But what does it look like? Yeah, in we're general? talking to retail, and we want to be in the, soon. We're going to be in the brick and mortar, and they were having the same issue. They said, "Where do we put Bala? Do we put it in, in mm. the pharmaceutical department uh, section?" A pharmacy, put it next to the uh, water enhancer, and put it next to hydration. So it's a crossover and a very versatile between different categories. But we decided to focus on the sport nutrition. So we told the uh, distributors and brokers, let's focus on the sport nutrition because that's what really uh, our passion, we're, we're athlete, and I'm, I'm just active myself. And I, again, I run and ski and swim. I said, just let's put it in the sport nutrition section. Let's focus on that. And if, it, if there's, there's, you know, we decide to uh, put it in a different uh, shelf, different category, that's up to the buyer. But for now, we're going after just that niche of sport. And uh, that's, that's you know, where Bala is going to be in the, in the retail. But again, um, 
it was it was a, it's a really good question because uh, people was just comparing us to hydra- hydration product, yeah. water enhancer, and they were comparing us to uh, okay stuff that the Benge and stuff they put for joint <coughs> pain and stuff. So uh, it's just a diff- it was a difficult decision because there's nothing uh, th- there's no direct competition for us to just compare mm. ourselves to. So that was uh, that was uh, you know we, we go back and forth with our uh, head of marketing and people who are uh, presenting it to retail to exactly how to present Bala and where to put it. Uh, in, in, in the retail. But, you know, we are new um, category out there. Enzyme is a new category plant-based out enzyme, there, yeah. plant-based enzyme. And then um, there's nothing like that in market. And hopefully we have other stuff in our pipeline that is coming out soon. Uh, so I want people to follow us on, you know, social media so they know when exactly. we have... The innovations uh, are coming around plant-based. Coming. We're going to be a plant-based company mm. dealing with plant-based enzymes and tackling human uh, disorders and symptoms and problems and uh, we all suffer uh, dealing and trying to resolve it through plant-based enzymes and using no sugar and trying to uh, uh, there's few innovation that we can you know uh, if they follow us they can they can learn but again uh, it's it's just something revolutionary there's uh, you know this plant-based enzyme by itself can be a huge category if you remember uh, you know people talk about collagen or probiotic Ten years ago, nobody yeah. knew what probiotic was, what collagen was. But a lot of people now are familiar. They know probiotic, they know um, collagen, or you know this. This is going to be a category by itself. Plant-based mm. enzymes. Enzymes is a fancy word that people. I like people to get educated and learn about enzymes. Uh, they have a lot of health benefits, and hopefully, uh, Bala uh, will be a, you know as we change our life, it can be a, you know life changer for our uh, audience too. That would be a great opportunity. So, Farnoosh, you said you, you loved your career in doing the endodontics, and then all of a sudden it's taken away from you. Yes. And so that it had to be a tough time, but um, did you did you kind of shift gears and, and start, start yeah. diving deep into this? And Definitely, because um, actually when I was uh, kind of put to sleep, I could hear him talking to people that, oh, we have to sell his, her office, but I couldn't even, like, talk because... Yeah. They put me so much to sleep that I could hear, but I couldn't, I was like sleep. The first 12 o'clock, I, they put me that kind of to sleep until in the morning that they could mm-hmm. operate on me mm-hmm. uh, because they order, you know, human graft for my shoulder that they needed it. So uh, basically uh, we had to sell my office. It was a hard decision. It, it was very difficult. Because dentistry is like being a pilot. You have to be really in top yeah. shape in order to do dentistry. And yeah. bite, even if you're healthy and in good shape, it is even very physically demanding and you, you just it's really delicate and you work in a small place and small area and it's mm-hmm. very very it takes a toll on your neck and back mm. and even if you have an injury like hers then i think it will be um, impossible to do yeah. because she uses a microscope she was all yeah constantly. i have to be very like a stable but performing my work and there's no way i can do mm-hmm. that even like sitting on a dental stool is not easy now mm-hmm. for me because sitting at the position because of the pins on my hips is not very easy and I have to keep moving so mm-hmm. to be like more comfortable yeah so yeah, yeah. it was very difficult you have two teenage daughters now that they, they go to school and she's taking they're taking them to play tennis she takes them to uh, you know, school and I, I I don't know how if she was if she was able to do that if she was practicing yeah. full-time and now she's involved with Bala yeah she's she's, so she's constantly I try in charge to just of the, get, yeah. and then of course Mainly, my life is like spending at physical therapy as well mm. because, you know, I get very stiff muscles. And even though I take Bola, I do need, you know, a physical therapist to help me two to three times a, you know, basically okay. week. I think we can take a little bit. Mm. Sorry. That's okay. Awesome. <laughs> 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 so you want to go over that one yeah. more time? Yeah. No, I think we felt, how, how are we doing? I think it's great. Like no, it's okay. Yeah, I think we I think we're, I think we're uh, we covered a I lot. Think we can. We have a lot of material. Wrap pretty soon. And Brad just mentioned your thirty percent. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. We did all the talking. We didn't let you do some talking. Yeah, you I think so- just re- redo that. Um, the PT. What you just the said. Physical therapy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so I'll ask you, and then it'll be a nice cut in. But I, I know that. a lot of your listeners are male. But I think they will relate it's, to a story. Yeah. I think it's half and half. Because we I don't remember, know for sure. But. Uh, you didn't know, I thought a lot of yeah. males listen to a podcast. But yeah. I think it were, they will relate to her because, uh, you know, I don't know if a lot of males have osteoporosis, but they understand the background, they understand the story, they can relate to her story. I think it's sure. helpful. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we've been through a lot. It's been a lot, tough two, three years for us. But uh, again, uh, as you said, we need to keep fighting. That's lo- what life is all about. And, and I'm happy that she's still active. She can still walk. All, everything that she's been through. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Okay.
So even though I take my bala, I gotta have to use, you know, go to physical therapy two, three, three times a week, you know, to help my body and to do a lot of exercises there at the yeah, under if you don't supervision. Do it, you're, you're in more pain oh, and more I'm in, stiffness. I'm in a lot of pain, even like doing my own hygiene and helping myself and doing my hair. You know, I had always long hair. I had to go chop my hair because I cannot help myself. I cannot, mm-hmm. you know, dry my hair because my hand does not come up more mm-hmm. than that. I cannot do this anymore. So it's very difficult. And then I use a lot of my trapezoid to do mm-hmm. all my work. And that needs a lot of physical therapy, mm. you know, uh, to work on to make the pain go away, you know, manually. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so it, it's been a tough route, but uh, hopefully, you know, uh, with Bala and, you know, doing PT for the rest of my life, I'll be okay. <laughs> And you guys, I'm sure, eat cleanly in the process of. Yeah, be very careful what yeah, we put on our body. Uh, very careful. And, and even with our kids, they are like, they always use ball when they play tennis. They're mm. both play tennis player. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they always watch why they what they eat and. Yeah. To balance their life. You yeah, know? be very health conscious and uh, mm. be very health conscious and we watch what we eat and exercise. Try to be active. And again. Um, I think uh, a lot of our consumers, our audience is also the same. They're very health conscious and they, they resonate with Bala because they, they see, uh, they understand the vision and the story and the, the brand. And uh, we get a lot of positive feedback from our, yeah. our consumers. We get a lot of emails thanking us for bringing this product into market yeah. and thanking us, you know, the, 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 the cashier or hairdresser or uh, fireman that, you know, they on their feet all day long and that they feel a lot better. So it's really self-rewarding, Brad. It's not, yeah. you know, as the company and business aside, uh, this has just been a great experience for us. Just getting those positive uh, emails and reviews and feedback, it's, it's just really feels good, you know. So why do you think the uh, the dental profession specifically is so enlightened to uh, holistic health and, and progressive strategies? Yeah, dentistry, you know, as you know, we, me and you talked about this before, uh, you know, is also in, uh, going toward being organic and health conscious before we used to do mercury filling in the patients. Mm. And now we know that we did a lot of, you know, uh, damage and did some harm <laughs> doing, doing those, you know, so now people are taking it out. We were doing other stuff that now we, as we research and literature coming out, we know that, you know, uh, some of the stuff we were doing, it was wrong. Some of the chemicals we were putting in mm. patients body, it was now we're trying to correct ourselves. Um, mm. Too much fluoride can be uh, cancerous. Uh, too little is not good. Too much is not good. So we're learning as we're moving along, you know, we just uh, sometimes the big, big companies are, uh, uh, huge for, uh, companies that they, they do a research because they have a they have a, some kind of uh, you know uh, business uh, you know <laughs> benefit is just promoting a product. But now I think the industry is also going toward you know being more careful with what they do uh, and uh, we try to you know stay away from some of the materials that were causing problem. Uh, I think it's, it's it's just came a long way. And now it's less pain. People will always worry about the pain. <laughs> and what we, u- we do these days, you know, we just use uh, procedures that are less painful. Mm. And uh, we don't, patients don't have to, you know, c- go through that uh, torture they used to do anymore. It's still, it's not the, you know, best place people want to mm. be in, and, you know, uh, and to pay people. But, the, you know, you, I, I got to have to mention a lot of inflammation mm. on people's gum can affect the whole body can really, like, they find exactly. out that uh, the bacteria in gum that, you know, my husband is a specialist for it, that cause Alzheimer's. So there's a yeah. lot of research on that. So in general, inflammation in everywhere, especially in the mouth, mouth could a, cause yeah. a lot of damages in your, uh, you know, your whole but body. Is a, is a door to your body. That, mm. uh, everything uh, starts a from very mouth. very uh, yeah, fragile it's, it's a, yeah. and viscous door. Exactly. A yeah. lot of, sometimes patients come to me and I you can detect, uh, you know, people, problem with the immune system or some diseases that they don't know and I can see in their mouth that it's the oral, oral lesion or something that they have I can tell them oh, you have this problem you have uh, you have immune problem or you have this disease if you have high blood pressure I can detect it immediately from looking at the gum wow. and that's something we can do and a lot of li- research and literature shows that a lot of problem underlying systemic issue that we have starts from oral uh, cavity. inflammation cavity and inflammation and uh, uh, the bacteria from mouth when you swallow travels to your system and can get to, to your bloodstream can get the heart Geo-port, infected, everything. can get the systemic issue, mm-hmm. uh, can cause premature uh, baby birth, can cause a lot of problem, as she said, Alzheimer, you name it. It's a lot of problem. It starts with the oral bacteria uh, starting from our, you know, our mouth and then travels down to your system and can get to the rest of the body. Yeah, I so, think people have to take it more serious because a lot of time I feel like people 
do not consider any dental issue can affect your whole body, but honestly it does. And uh, they should see that this is very important health mm. as well. Um, which is not only like if you get cold or if you get cancer or anything like that, but dental issues can, you know, uh, cause a lot of yeah. other issues that people do not think about it. Exactly. So it's very important to, you know, look into so it. So what, what are the um, best things we can do besides brushing and flossing yeah. regularly? You have to see your is dentist diet related twice. As well? You have to see the dentist twice a year for sure to get checked <laughs> up and then make sure. Sometimes people, are, you know, they floss and they see bleeding. And they ignore it or they brush your seed bleeding. So oh, I, I, it's okay. I just get a little bit of bleeding. Mm. That bleeding is the cause, a sign of inflammation. When mm. you see a lot of bleeding, that shows that you have underlying inflammation mm. issue. The, the gum is inflammated. You have a lot of bacteria in your mouth. Mm. And those bacteria, as I said, can get the, to the rest of your body. Yeah. So you need to get checked out. You need to make sure that there's no bleeding when you floss or brush. And uh, diet, you don't want to have too much sugar. Again, mm. going back to our sugar, uh, sugar is a uh, uh, poison. Uh, same thing with the mouth can cause ca a cavity, can cause a lot of problems, even ca can cause, uh, you know, even if you, as we get older, we get less and less cavity because the teeth get calcified, but it still can cause damage. You can, you know, have crowns and oh, feelings. Yeah. Is that why you get less cavities when you get older? Yeah, the teeth get too old to, yeah. to make a little hole. I have to say hole. something. When we get older, we can get root cavities because we get gum recession. Uh -huh. And the root is not as strong as the uh, crown uh -huh. and enamel of the tooth and the crown portion. So, a lot of elderly, you know, you can get root decay. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not good because, you know, it's on the bottom and, you know, it's tougher to, exactly. you know, restore it. And then a lot of people who go through cancer, you know, they do get a lot of root cavities and, mm. you know, due to radiation and things like that. So those are very important to make sure you see your dentist and you take care and of those. And my philosophy and my wife's philosophy is always save your own tooth as long as you can. Preserve. That's mm. my job is to preserve teeth. Mm. I know a lot of dentists these days recommend uh, taking the teeth out to implant. Do all teeth on four implants. Mm. Take everything out. Immediately do implant. My philosophy is to tr try to preserve your own tooth as long as you can because there's nothing like your own tooth. Even that though tooth, he plays implants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my yeah. implant is my job. I'm an implantologist too. Uh, so I, you know, it's my specialty. But implant, it's, it's good, but it's the last thing you want to do. It's at the end of the road because even implant may not last you forever. They're going to have problem. If you don't take care of it, it has maintenance issue. It can fail. It can, and then it has problem. And it's, it's a surgery, so it has complications. So try to preserve your own tooth. Try to keep them floss, brush, see your dentist at least twice a year. Mm. If you have gum issue, if you, if you get a lot of plaques. Sometimes plaque, two to four times yeah, a year. I see my patients mm. sometimes four times because they get a lot of plaques. Some people with the, you know, saliva builds up a lot of plaque and uh, they, mm. we call it tartar or calculus. So we need to see with the dentist more often if you see you're building up a lot of plaque and tartar faster. Uh, so you need to make sure you keep up with your oral hygiene, get your cleaning done, get that inflammation under control because inflammation from your body can affect the rest of your body. And Bala, again, with, with giving the Bala to my Bringing patients. Bringing it back full yeah, circle, people. Yeah. We CIA, got our yeah. dental tips. Now we're coming back CIA, to Bala. Patients who are bleeding, they take Bala and the bleeding is decreased. Mm. I, I've done clinical research in my own clinic that I've seen, you know, I've rec you know, seen the data that helps with the inflammation, with the oral health, with, and not only the surgeries, also with just a regular uh, gum and health is just going to improve your overall health, oral, oral health. And uh, please pay attention to your oral cavity because, mm. you know, it's, uh, as I said, it's a door to the rest of your body. Sometimes people get a problem in the oral cavity, they ignore it, and they realize they have an oral cancer or they have a problem or they have issue or, you know, have, they, they, they diagnose so many uh, patients with problem before the medical doctor were able to diagnose because oral health is really important and it gives you a lot of signs as soon as you see bleeding as soon as you see something wrong get it checked out don't ignore it oh yeah i go to acupuncturist and the first thing they ask me to do is stick my tongue out <laughs> exactly and then <laughs> she's studying my tongue yeah. for a while and that's ancient chinese medicine exactly. they're looking at the, the health of the whole body from the tongue uh, surface of, yes, of course the gums would be related yeah. Farnoosh and Arish, what a great show. Yeah. And you guys are really working hard to get it out there and made a generous offer to listeners. So uh, we should communicate that. There's 30% off on your With first Brad order. 30, yeah, Brad 30 because... Uh, okay, stock up. You're going to love Brad. it. So if you get 30% off, that's the time you, to Brad. pull the trigger. And if you get extra bags, you yeah. can give them to your friends. But Thank go you. to town. Is there any limit? Can I get like 10 bags at 30% off? There, there's no limit. Be, be, For your okay, first time. But that's your first, first time. First you time. can get 10 then bags. ongoing, we're gonna, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll have a long-term so discount. But this is a big one. Again, I want to thank you, Brad, for the opportunity. You've been so supportive uh, from the beginning. We're a small brand, a small company, but you've been so... 
helping us to get this uh, the word out there and get that brand awareness. I really, really appreciate the opportunity and the time you spent with you. us today. Well, Thank thanks for this much. wonderful gathering. Thank thanks for so listening, much. watching everybody. Thank and you. so there's a code. You just go to balaenzyme.com and put in Brad30. Exactly. 30% off. Yeah. You're rocking. Excellent. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Hey listeners, I want to tell you a true story about the super awesome Paleo Valley Superfood Bars. And I can't believe I'm promoting an energy bar because I literally took a 17-year break or so from eating a single bar. That's because I've eaten plenty in my day. Back when I was a triathlete, I was sponsored by the original big-name bar makers, and I used them for so many years on long bike rides and then leaking into my life as a daily habit. But guess what? Most energy bars, even today, as we evolve and have better product selection in, in so many ways, most energy bars contain as much sugar as a candy bar and even the high protein bars have lots of sugar and usually an inferior quality protein paleo valley bars on the other hand are free from added sugar or processed sugar and have an assortment of bonus ingredients like grass-fed beef bone broth protein for your collagen needs a blend of nutritious plant-based ingredients like pumpkin seed kale broccoli spinach blueberry spirulina cherry turmeric ginger himalayan pink salt and very important Importantly, the product is cold processed. It's hard to use the word superfood unless it's deserved, and it really is deserved with this product. I get a distinct sensation of feeling satisfied and nourished after eating a Paleo Valley bar, and it lasts for hours. And let me tell you, these bars are the real deal. They've been rigorously taste tested by Brad Kearns himself on my epic 22 mile cactus to clouds hike back in October, where I ate five bars in a single day while hiking the single most difficult hiking trail in the United States in Palm Springs. Paleo Valley superfood bars actually taste great all day long because they're not overly sweet and they're filled with those healthful ingredients that give you true satisfaction. Hey, go try some out. What do you have to lose? Paleovalley.com. Take that 15% discount with the code BRAD15. Thank you for listening to the show. I love sharing the experience with you and greatly appreciate your support. Please email podcast at bradventures.com with feedback, suggestions, and questions for the Q&A shows. Subscribe to our email list at bradkearns.com for a weekly blast about the published episodes and a wonderful bi-monthly newsletter edition with informative articles and practical tips for all aspects of healthy living. You can also download several awesome free ebooks when you subscribe to the email list. And if you could go to the trouble to leave a five or five star review with Apple Podcasts or wherever else you listen to the shows, that would be super incredibly awesome. It helps raise the profile of the BRAD podcast and attract new listeners. And did you know that you can share a show with a friend or loved one by just hitting a few buttons in your player and firing off a text message? My awesome podcast player called Overcast allows you to actually record a soundbite excerpt from the episode you're listening to and fire it off with a quick text message. Thank you so much for spreading the word. And remember, be rad.